So you need the locks on this front door change here. I got some work to do in my office. You need anything, let me know. He's breaking into the Pendleton's house. Ma'am, please calm down. I've got Mace. Ah, you must be Gary. Yes, sir. Mr. Pendleton, correct? Please, call me Robert. Come on in. So, you need the locks on this front door change here? Yes. Complete change on this door, and also the back door needs to be changed out also. Okay, no problem. The one in the back may be a little more complicated. An old key broke off inside when my wife tried to open it. So there's an old piece of that key still lodged inside. No worries. I have some special tools that'll do the job. Great. I gotta go to my truck and grab some stuff. And I'll get started as soon as I get back, if that works for you. Terrific. I got some work to do in my office. You need anything, let me know. Can I get you anything now? Something to drink, water or something? I'm good for now. Thank you, Mr. Pendleton. Robert, please. Yes, sir. Thank you, Robert. Yes, Wendy. I, I know you're busy. We're all busy. But you haven't been one of these meetings in weeks. I, I get it, but I, I need you to understand that attending the meetings is a very an integral part of the equation. And my job as the president of the Neighborhood Watch Committee is to make sure that all of the members are engaged. And I would really appreciate your full cooperation. Yes, this Thursday night. Okay. Thank you. All right, I'll see you there. Bye-bye. What is he doing? Oh my God. He's breaking into the Pendleton's house. Not on my watch. You hooligan! Where is he? Where is he? you now. Oh my God. He's going to break in the back door. Hey, you! Stop it right there. Good afternoon would be nice. You know, you have a lot of nerve. Do you know that? Excuse me? Breaking into the Pendleton's house in broad daylight. Lady, have you lost your mind? Uh -uh. No, I haven't. Listen, I've got mace in my purse. And I am not afraid to use it. Ma'am, please calm down. My name is Lydia Henry, and I'm president of the Neighborhood Watch Committee here in Mango Park. Ma'am. And I'm gonna make a citizen's arrest. Ma'am, I wasn't trying to break in the house. I was fixing the lock. Oof. Listen, I happen to know that the Pendletons are out of town. They're on vacation. Ma'am, please. Okay, okay, okay. This is a big misunderstanding. Okay, just stay back. I mean it. Take a step back. 
do not take another step toward me or I swear to God you will have mace in your face. Ma'am, I wasn't trying to break in the house. I was fixing the lock. What the hell's going on? Ma'am, please. What's all that yelling about? This is a big misunderstanding. Uh, what's the problem? What's all the yelling about? Robert, I, I thought you were out of town with your wife. Well, yeah, we came home a few days early. Now, what's the problem? You know this woman? Yeah, she lives next door. What is it now, Lydia? Why are you yelling at this man? Robert, this man was at your door trying to break into your house. Lydia, this is my locksmith, Gary. What? I told you. Well, I was just, you know, I... Come on, I mean, I saw him at the... And he was picking the... And so, well, I assume that he You was saw trying... a black man walking through your neighborhood and you just assumed that I was up to no good. I believe you owe this man an apology. Gosh, I would... I was just trying to do the right thing here. Well, your intentions may have been good, but your judgment was way off. Now, apologize to him. I was wrong. I'm sorry. I'm glad you came back in time before she sprayed me with that mace. You know, Lydia, you've garnered some reputation in this neighborhood. Excuse me, I beg your pardon, Robert. I am a pillar of this community. This was a... Simple misunderstanding, he said so himself. You seem to misunderstand everything. Oh, FYI, my wife and I are gonna go to the neighborhood watch meeting next month. It's this Thursday, seven o'clock, right? Okay, great, yes, 7 p.m. Thursday, my home. We'll be there. Oh, and they're voting on the new leadership committee, right? That is correct. Well, there's a vice presidential slot that needs to be decided and, and I'm running for president again. Uh, unopposed. Not anymore, you're not. What do you mean? My wife has been after me for months to run. I think I'm going to take her advice. No, you wouldn't. Robert, I've been running this committee for three years. Time for a change. I'm going to notify the board today of my intention to run for the presidency. Robert, let's not make any rash decisions just based on what happened here. You know, Lydia, I'm not the only one who thinks you've been a menace to our peaceful town. I'm sure I can get a lot of support in my neighborhood. No, you won't. No, you, you can't. Your reign is over, Lydia. Prepare to be ousted. You know what, Robert? You want to run against me? Go ahead. I'll beat you. Nobody messes with Lydia Henry. Uh, no one. Uh, yeah, yeah, whatever. Now, could you please get off my property? Whoa, you sure did tell her. Hey, I'm sorry about that, Gary. But as you can see, some of my neighbors have a lot to learn about life. Indeed. Well, the front door is fixed and I'll be done soon. Excellent work. Hey, you ready for that drink now? I won't turn down any iced tea. One ice-cold iced tea coming up. Thank you, Mr. Pounton. Much appreciated. 